Hey YouTube fam, what's up and welcome back to my channel Brit's Way and welcome to another DIY video. And if you are new to my channel here on Brit's Way, I like to show you guys how to do things yourself and how to save money. So today, y'all, drop your girl a nail emoji down below if you are over the prices at the nail salon. Drop me a nail emoji. Because y'all, in this video, this is going to be the first video of my nail series. So I like to bring you guys different series. I did a waist bead series showing you guys how to make different waist beads. Um, I also do curly hair series and do it yourself deep conditioning and hair mask, um, how to do different things around your house yourself. And at this point, guys, it's almost 2022. I feel like there's nothing I can't do myself. So I did a little bit of research, not a whole lot, but I found this little Beatles gel polish nail tip and glue set on Amazon for $19.99. So I was like, you know what? I mean, $20, I it's worth a shot, right? So um, the packaging is super cute. Um, it says, um, be bold, be me, be Beatles. And again, this was $20. It came with um, nails from sizes 1 to 10. And it also comes with... Um, a light and the nail glue. So I'll get to that in a second. Um, but I picked all these stuff up on Amazon for $60. I also picked up two nail polish sets. So those were $13.99 each. The one here in the black box is like fall kind of um, Thanksgiving colors that I'll be doing in a future video. So stay tuned for that. And then the one below it is what I'm going to be using today. It's like some purples and kind of like a pink and plumish colors. Um, so I'm going to be using that in today's video. I also picked up the little nail holders, the little thing right here that you can put the nails on because I see girls use this when they want to paint the nails and do different designs and stuff like that. So um, this is what you'll put the nails on and put them under the light to cure them. I didn't have any putty the way I see a lot of other people use. So the nail will stick to this little, you know, the little nail holder. So I had some scotch double-sided tape um, on my desk and I just used that for the time being, but I do, I will be getting some putty um, here soon because I just feel like the putty will probably do much better than this double-sided tape. And then in the black box, I got the top coat, base coat, and the matte. And then I don't know why I'm taking so long to talk about this double sided tape. Uh, I'm doing a voiceover. So I'm looking like what is taking so long? Um, and then right here is going to be the nail hydrator and the primer. And this is just a little bit of research I did on you want to really um, base your you really want to like prep your nails the best you can to basically get your nails to adhere and last longer. So I did some research in the hydrator and the primer is something that you want to have. I already had my light. So everything else, guys, like I said, $60, the light I've had for years. I actually use it for resin um, because it's pretty much the same thing. But anyways, guys, so here is the little lamp. It's super small. Um, the cord isn't that long and it comes with the nail glue. And yeah, I was like, you know what? Can't go wrong. Let me give this a shot. So basically all I'm going to do right here is go through and get my nail sizes um they like i said they start from one to ten and ten being the smallest and one being the largest for your thumb so you will notice that the full coverage nail base is more flexible than the rest of the nail tip and that is because it is supposed to help it uh, form to your natural, your nail a little more natural um so at this point i'm going to go and start prepping my nails so I'm filing the shiny part off of the top of the nails and then I'm just going to stick it onto my little nail stand here. So you'll see me file the, make sure you get the sides really good. Um, I also filed the tip right here. There's like something at the tip as if it was connected to something. I filed that down completely straight. I did not um, cut these nails down whatsoever. I just kept the length of these nails. And then I actually filed the shiny part of like kind of the inside of the nail because I did watch other videos where some people say that helps it adhere to your nail bed uh, better. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give that a shot. Got all my nail sizes, prepped my nails. Like I said, I went through and I basically just roughed them up some, filed all that shiny stuff off. And I even tried to um, file inside the nail just so it adheres to my nail and um, the glue once I go to apply them. 
All right, newbies, so you're going to need a base coat and you're going to need a top coat. So I've picked up Beetle's Gel Polish Base and Top Coat set off Amazon. It also comes with a matte top coat as well. So I really like that it's like a, you know, you get all three in this set. Now, a base coat is essential when using gel polishes, like more than it is when working with re regular nail polishes. So I've read, like when you use a base coat, when you're using regular nail polishes, I think that more just helps your nail plate not get stained with the certain colors you're using. But the main benefit that a base coat has is that it creates a, like a great surface for the gel uh, polish, the colored gel polish to bond with. And this prevents your polish from lifting and peeling easily. So you need a base coat, guys. I purchased this light, like I mentioned, like five, six years ago before I moved to Houston and I started doing YouTube. And I just bought a top coat in this light and it did not... It did not work out. Um, I wasn't even using gel polish. I was really even just using regular polish with a gel top coat and a light, and it did not work out. So um, in these next few clips, I'm really just showing you guys um, the colors just because I wanted to see which color I wanted to use best. Um, I mean, which color, you know, was going to work out for me, um, even though I am the worst at making decisions. So in the end, I ended up changing the color like so many times, which you guys will see in the end. But um, I just used one of the reg one of the random nail sizes that I knew I was not going to use. Um, I'm not selling nails. Um, if you are looking to start uh, doing press-ons and selling them, great. I definitely recommend um, getting a side hustle. Nowadays, having a side hustle and having your own business is the way to go. So I definitely... Um, definitely support the side hustles and you know the boss babes out there your girl right now is just learning to do her own nails so um this is me using the base coat and it says to cure for 90 to 120 seconds now this light anytime you use the 90 seconds it says low heat low heat mode and i realized that that was not curing i feel like it was still kind of tacky so i started pressing 60 seconds twice just to be 120 seconds and that seemed to work out I also wanted to mention that these gel polish bottles are a bit smaller than your regular gel polish. I mean, your regular polish. These are 7.5 mLs, and I just felt like the bottles were super small. But in the end, I mean, it still was pretty easy to paint the nails, so it's not, you know, a big deal. Um, but you also want to be mindful of gel polish has a slightly different consistency than most nail polishes, which can definitely throw you off when you're new to painting with gel polishes. So you don't need to use as much gel polish on your brush as you would with regular nail polish um if you use too much the gel polish will pull and get super thick around your cuticles and your nail edges um so i definitely recommend doing a thin coat not too thin in my opinion but a thin coat and just remember you can go over it two or three times i did do two coats on these nails right here and yes, guys, I am painting these same nails from my Beatles nail tip and glue set prior to applying them. This is my first time working with gel polish. Your girl needs some practice. I need to get in the groove of learning how to, you know, how long to cure it, how my lamp works, all of that. I'm sure during this whole nail series, there'll be more tips to come, but I definitely wanted to get the hang of painting and curing prior to actually applying the nails. Like most tutorials I see here on YouTube, I know they go straight into applying the nails, but I'm sure they're more of a vet than me. So that's why I'm going in with trying to just learn to paint my nails, prep the uh, full coverage tips, and then apply them. But another tip that I did want to throw out there is make sure you remove any extra gel polish before you cure it. This means if you accidentally get some on your skin and you cure it, it's not coming off. And I say that because I did that and I was like, oh my God, I actually pulled a little bit of skin off trying to pull it off because it cures really hard so just be mindful this one right here guys look at that plum mat oh my goodness i fell in love with it so in the end you'll see i ended up doing a couple of different sets and ultimately i chose to do the plum matte color mainly on my nails because it was just giving me just good vibes i was really feeling it and i was like i loved it against my skin and that's me just showing you guys that nail cracked so i ended up having to file another nail you know prep it all over again get it ready base coat it cure it and then start polishing it again because there was like a slit in that one particular nail so here are my final sets i love this plum matte 
Um, and then I did my ring fingers in the color above. So stay tuned for my video where I'm going to be applying these nails. But one tip I did want to mention before we wrap this video up is when you're applying your top coat, be sure to fully cover your nail because once you put it into the light, if it's not fully covered, it'll look matte. And if you're not going for a matte nail, then you're going to have an area that you know, looks a little weird. If you mess up, you'll kind of notice because that used to happen to me when I went to the nail salon. If I, they didn't fully cover it, I would notice an area of my glossy nail looking more matte. And you don't want that because ultimately it can just rub off. So other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give your girl a big thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for more nail tutorials coming soon because your girl is really on a roll with saving money and doing her own nails. And I hope to catch you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. I hope to catch you guys all in my next video. Thanks for watching.